Hi everyone, this is Smriti. Welcome to QA Automation Classes. And today we are going to start with a new session that is called as the Framework Development from the Scratch. Okay, and uh, we'll be trying to design one framework uh, in Selenium using Java. Okay, so the first thing is like what exactly is a framework, right? What are different types of the framework? We'll have a little introduction into that and then in the from the next session the actual framework development like what is the architecture what are the different components we are going to have those will be uh, presented from tomorrow okay so for today uh, let's start what exactly is a framework so framework is nothing but uh, uh, an essential or the supporting or the basic structure of a system right so and we are going to uh, design a basic structure for the entire automation ui automation uh, using the selenium and on top of that using that framework we can create our test scripts right our automation scripts and those automation script will be uh, will be running for our automation test cases okay so that is a framework so what are the different types of the framework we have uh, different types of the framework if you go to the our uh, whiteboard so I have listed out like keyword driven framework and data driven framework. Uh, we have modular framework and then we have a hybrid framework also. So what exactly is keyword driven? Okay, the name says keyword driven. So it is driven by the keywords. That means we have to create the keywords. Okay, so keywords like submit, login, right? So these are verify something. So these are the keywords. Okay, so for each and every keyword we have to write the uh, actual implementation methods okay so then uh, these keywords are going to be uh, read by the uh, function library right and uh, and it will call the associated action so if you uh, understand it like there will be excel on the excel you will define the keywords okay so login and then say uh, submit uh, form or something like like this we have to define the keywords in the form of the in excel okay and then that excel will be read through a function library and, and the function library will say okay this is the particular keyword that uh, i have to go and find and then it will go and find the uh, function or the method associated with that keyword and then it will perform that action on the ui okay so the advantage is like uh, the development of the script is really easy right you just have to use those keyword and in the excel in the plain english like you have to design your uh, uh, test cases okay and your automation script is going to get run uh, by going through those keywords right on the ui this is the development becomes really easy of the scripts but the framework development is very complex because we need to design all those keywords whatever keywords are there right we have to uh, compile the list of the operations we are going to do on the ui application and then for each and every uh, keyword we have to come up with the uh, different different uh, functions right associated function so which is a very cumbersome and it takes a lot of time okay initially and we need the skilled resources to develop this kind of the function libraries okay and that is the disadvantages of this keyword driven uh, approach and then the next one is the data driven okay so what exactly is data driven so here name says it is data driven so it is driven by the data only so suppose you have an application which consumes a lot of data right so in that case what you want to do you want to you can uh, you do not have to hard code the data in the test script right so you may have the data in some external file right some excel or in properties file or maybe in the database right so you have to read the data from those external location and then feed it into your test cases and your test cases will use those data and run okay so this is the use of the, the in that scenario we have to go with the data driven test cases okay and uh, what about this modular okay so modular test case modular framework is like uh, we have to analyze all the uh, test cases okay and then we have to find the reusable flow which flows are re can be reused okay so those flows we have to identify and then uh, we have uh, to script them as the reusable function and then we'll call them as and when we are uh, 
in need of those functions to be executed so that is exactly uh, a modular framework okay and then the last one is the hybrid framework hybrid framework is like it can be combination of any one of them any two of them right maybe keyword plus data driven plus modular it is a hybrid keyword plus data driven is also hybrid data driven modular is also hybrid so our framework will say it hybrid because we will have the modular approach we will try to create uh, the few generic functions over there right which are uh, reusable we will try to put them i will uh, will uh, develop them separately and we'll keep them in some separate class so that they can be reused and again it will be data driven because we are going to fed a lot of data into our test scripts uh, through the excel or maybe through the database okay so that's why it is a combination of the modular and data driven so we are saying so it is the hybrid framework okay so this is all about the introduction into the different types of the framework okay hope you guys are clear till now and uh, in the next class we'll see what is the architecture of our framework what are the different uh, uh, components we are going to have okay so we'll look detail into that class that class will be very important class okay guys okay so thank you everyone see you in the next class bye bye